The feeder works great. It was a little bigger than I expected but then again I have a small bunny and not a huge dog. The size is perfect if someone has a dog. But I am using the feeder for my 5 pounds bunny. Since my husband has been sick. There are times when we would not be home for days. Before the feeder I would fill my bunny's bowl with a week's worth of pellets but I did not like that because he loves eating pellets more than the hay so I was getting concerned that he was eating up all his pellets too soon then he gets to the hay. I wanted to balance his pellet intake daily. So I was glad that the feeder could feed as little as 1 8 cup at a time. Up to as much as 4 cups. So I schedule his meal twice a day at 1 8 cup increments. I tested it to make sure it worked when I was at home and it was very timely. So pretty much the battery option is just for backup. The included AC adapter must be used. At first I was excited that the feeder has the option to allow 4 size D batteries but even with 4 D size Duracell alkaline batteries it did not last one week before it drained. I was concerned at first because anyone who has a bunny knows that wires are a concern since bunnies love to chew everything. But so far my bunny has not been able to move the feeder and the plug is hidden from his view so I am able to plug it in. And because of the size it is too much for him to knock over. The feeder is easy to load. The bowl comes off from the feeder and easy to clean. Look at photos for the different parts. The food bin is held close by two snap locks and the lid on the bin is held by one push lock. The food bin is translucent so you could peek in to see if it needs refilling but since it is dark blue it is not as easy to see when it is really low. Click link in description for purchase and more reviews. When using for the first time, make sure to press the button on top to make sure the food is moved along the conveyor belt and don't let go until food dispenses. This ensures that when you schedule the meal, the food is ready. I made that mistake at first wondering why nothing came out when I did a test feed for the first time. Then I read the instructions more closely. I read all the instructions but I misunderstood the meaning because I thought by filling the opening that was enough, but please make sure to press the button on top to prep the dispenser. The app only allows to be scheduled in 15 minute increments meaning 15 minute on the clock. For example, 8 o'clock, 8.15, 8.30, 8.45, 9 o'clock. I don't see an option for feed now option which I wish it had, unless I missed it. Click link in description for purchase and more reviews. So if you want to feed your pet an extra meal for just that instance, then you have to wait for earliest available time slot. It's been a little over a month since I purchased my very first auto, smart feeder and like many of you, I did an extensive amount of research on various automatic feeders before settling on this one. There really aren't many options to choose from, so it all depends on what you're looking for. I'm in my late 20s, familiar with techs, and travel within the US, but usually just over a long weekend. I have a 2-year-old indoor cat, and he eats on a set schedule of 2 meals a day, 1 quarter C dry food in the morning. Wet food at night. I want to have an auto feeder for only his morning meals. After looking through the options available, I narrowed down my must-haves to a machine that can feed on a schedule, easy to set, change the schedule, has plug-in cable with battery backup, and communicate with me on my phone. Therefore, I got this one, and hopefully, this can help you. The machine, read the instruction. The instruction isn't long, and a lot of people just simply don't read. Click link in description for purchase and more reviews.